Hey guys, how are you? It's me and Evan here again. We're working on the DLC. Uh, last time we were here, I devastated Brock Lesnar with Andre Olofsky. And I was submitted by Rampage Jackson in the third round as Michael Bisping. So, uh, so we're one and one against the DLC legends. Yeah, I mean, I'm holding my own, but uh, uh, poor Evan over here can't seem to get it together. So yeah, I mean, I think I think now we're gonna have you uh, go to. It's heavyweight or welterweight. We got Mark Coleman and Matt Hughes left. Let, let's let's see you fight Mark Coleman. Mark Coleman? Yeah, I want to see you fight Coleman. Okay. Where is that big guy? You'll see some of our creative fighters as he there goes. There he is. There he is. Coleman. An 89 stand-up, a be? 91 ground, and an 88 submission. That's the question. Who am I going to be? Tony Ferrari, my creative player. Knockout ours. Who should I beat if I call him? It's, it's up to you, really. Who would be a good fight against Mark Coleman? Uh, Mark Coleman has no business in modern-day UFC heavyweight division. Yeah, I feel like every one of these people is going to kill Mark Coleman. Yeah. Whoever you want to be. Maybe you could be the Mattel of the Marks. Maybe Frank Mir needs a win. Big, Frank Mir needs a win. Big Nog and him can have a rematch. You know, who knows? I'll be Big Nog. Never mind. Frank Mir got injured, fell off a motorcycle. <laughs> oh, <ooh. laughs> We're going to be fighting Chicago. Okay. Three rounds, normal, difficulty hard. Come on, baby. Papa needs a new pair of shoes. They're having a rematch after Nog beat the crap out of him. Have you heard anything about Mark Coleman? Like, we, on the internet before we played, we heard Brock Lesnar was unplayably slow, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Rampage was Chris Boxing amazing, blah, 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 blah. Have you heard anything about Mark Coleman? Not too much. I mean, people were telling me, I heard people were saying that he had good takedowns, but that's about it. Antonio Rodrigo, Minotaro Nogueira. I don't think he's going to take me down. I don't think he's going to take me down at all. He's, uh, he's a good... If, he, if he's as good as he is in real life to take down, he, he might get you I think I'm going to light him up. I think it's going to be a quick fight. I think I'm prepared. Yogurt land in my belly. Uh, I had some Winter Wonderland specials. And a little bit of... A little bit Shout of, out to Yogurt Land for being great. Absolutely. Uh, we don't... We don't get any kickbacks from Yogurt Land, although we'd love some. But 16 and 10. Jesus Christ. Yeah, he's had a storied career. Marcus Coleman. They made him real soft looking. I don't All remember right. him being that Let's soft. Let's do this. Minotaro, no Mark Coleman. Still don't know how to touch gloves. Sorry, Mark. Oh. Mark Coleman coming in like a beast. Black trunks for Coleman. Great trunks for Nogueira. Heavyweight national wrestling champion at Ohio State. Oh. The Hammer Coleman, the UFC Hall of Famer. He's adapted his wrestling very well. All right, so he looks, looks like he's pretty good. He's definitely bringing a lot more heat than I expect. I got to tell you that much. Uh, nope, see, I told you. You ain't getting me down, old man. Look, how, look at his stance. Yeah, it's very wow, okay, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. That uppercut rocked me. My, my controller vibrated a little bit. The stand up looks Where better. Where not? What's going on with your stamina? Solid oh. hook to the head. Good defense by Coleman. Nice leg kick there. All right. No Gara with the strong hook to the body. So Mark Coleman, Godfather, ground and pad. You know, won a couple of UFC tournaments. Not getting me on the ground though. He was one of those guys that you know, he's a legend, and I respect him, but like, kinda always blew it when it mattered. Who would you compare him to in modern MMA? Uh, Josh Koscheck. Josh Koscheck is a good example. Yeah, Josh Koscheck's promising, but then like, right when it matters. Oh, what the hell just happened? What the hell just happened? He blew his knee out with that freaking kick. He wants this fight back. Just murdering him now. Can't keep him down. Taking out his legs. Apparently he's got weak legs. Look at this. No Gara with a big left. Oh, now he's easy coming. Big knee. Oh, oh Jesus. Coleman working his body. Damn, he's draining my stamina. Oh, oh. Good connection by both men. Outstanding combination. Heavy kick to the midsection. 
Mark Coleman looks like you're made of leather. He looks like a leather couch. Yeah, well, this leather couch is getting put to sleep. Tags him. What? Oh, oh, there it is. Takes Coleman down. Nicely done. I don't know how to fucking stop transitions. I hate it. I thought I had it for a little bit. And then you did. And then I don't. And then it's like, no, by the way, everything you were doing was an accident. It was just a, a very happy accident. Coincidental accident. He skates up to his feet. Very nice. Mark Coleman. Oh, got some hands. Yeah, seriously, he's a good pairing. He throws the right and misses. That's a solid. Oh, Coleman. Oh, oh Jesus. He blocks that hook. There's a nice left hand. The kick gets through. See, normally on reviews, we play as the characters, but, you know, that'd be boring. We want to kill you, you gotta beat them. You gotta see what they're like against with the computer. Oh, shit. Excellent scrolls. Not strong enough. Can't, can't reverse that there's that there switch. The duck on there, Joe. Not switch. Excuse me. There's going to be a lot of Head kick. Nicely done. Good right oh. hand on the counter by Coleman. And he's able to score. Yeah, with those legendary head kicks. Everybody's got, like, I don't know. Head kicks should be, like, to only to people who actually throw them. I remember when UFC, when the games would actually only give you character-specific moves. If you couldn't throw a head kick... Or if you've only ever thrown like a left head kick, you only got a left head kick. Like you never got this, you never just got given moves. Yeah. And of course, the only person who doesn't get given any of the moves, Brock Lesnar. He doesn't get head kicks, he gets a fucking flying knee of all things. Which is the weirdest thing ever, I don't remember. I could, I could see Brock trying to head kick. He has that front kick too, he has that front step kick. He's just like, yeah, which shows like a complexity in his strength that he just simply never had. Oh man, no Garrett is... And like, maybe he does have it. Maybe he did train, train that or something. But we never got oh. to see it. Here we go, this is it. And come to... Uh-oh. This is it, old man. You're getting put to sleep. Damn it. Damn it, I hit the wrong way. He's out. Solid strike from this position. Killing his body. The major scar really knows me. I remember like when I didn't know that that was a scar. Like I didn't, I couldn't quite see it. I didn't know exactly what it was, and then I heard about it. Like, You're looking at a shadow. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, oh, oh shit! Oh, 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 oh. rocking you, Godfather Ground and Pound. Jesus Christ! The Godfather. Are you kidding me? Oh. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, oh. the Godfather of Ground and Pound just earned himself a victory. Ladies and gentlemen. That's some bullshit. Ladies and gentlemen, Evan Butler has not been a legend. I can't be a legend. He's just he's not a legend killer. I'm not a le I'm not. No RKOs out of nowhere oh. for me. Oh, man, dude. The only way for me to regain stamina was to let go a block. I let go of a block once and he just taps me. Oh, oh you're stiff. Boop. There it is. Boop. <laughs> Look at his ass. Look at that defined buttocks. That's Look at it jiggle. weird that you were looking at his butt. Dude, it's impossible not to. Tell me you didn't see that butt. I mean, after you said it, I had to look. It was there for everyone look to see. Look at how depressed you and Nog are. I, well, I mean, together, we're very upset with our lives. I should have picked Frank Mir. I guess I gotta destroy Matt Hughes now just to make myself... God damn, better. dude. I think, uh, I think we're gonna save the Matt Hughes beatdown for next time. Yeah, what we're gonna say right now is Mark Coleman, slow as fucking molasses, hits like a goddamn rock, and if he gets on top of you, God, get up as soon as you can. Godfather, ground and pound, revenge, revenge of the Godfather. I was gonna say avenge, but I messed it up, so yeah, we're ended on that.